April saying goes, April showers bring May flowers, and it has been quite a rainy April. As a little under half the days, we've gotten some sort of precipitation, even if it comes in the form of just a light sprinkle. So our windshield and our windshield wipers, they've been being put to pretty good use, and especially if you don't have a water repellent on your windshield, as water physically wants to stick to your windshield as it has a negative charge, and raindrops have a positive charge, so on a chemical and molecular level, the two like to stay connected. That is why as you're driving throughout, you may start to see it really start to streak across, reducing your visibility. This is where water repellent comes in. As what water repellent does, it evens out the charge on our windshields, allowing that water, water droplet to beat up and just roll away as if nothing has happened, improving your visibility. And it's pretty easy to go to the store, and a lot of them are pretty cheap these days, to be able to get a water repellent, or if you want to make it, it's very, very easy, and you can use the stuff around the house. What you'll need is you'll need two tablespoons of dish soap, one cup of distilled vinegar, two cups of rubbing alcohol, and then three quarts of water. And what you need to do, mix it up, shake it, and then pour that into your washer fluid reservoir. And then you want to turn on your windshield wipers, let it spray, and then next thing you know, your, water, your windshield is now water repellent.